Hi guys, just a little update on our recent rainfall we've had here. You know, just a, not a disclaimer, but a, an assurance. We are not in any danger in this area. We are on top of a hill and well clear of this. However, it does back onto our property that we're staying at. So uh, this is a small valley at the base of our property that goes on to uh, Wiseman's Ferry Road and what you're looking at here is Wiseman's Ferry Road. Um, the rainfall over the last 48 hours has been about 150 millimetres and the Warragamba Dam has just filled up so what you can see flooding into the left hand side of the road if you're facing the same direction as the picture of that car is actually going in reverse to what normal rainfall would go so the riverbank has expanded and overflowed and is flowing back into the valleys and filling this valley up now this valley would be two or three hundred acres and it's filling quite fast and you'll see in later footage this whole area here that is dry at the moment is going to be underwater by 6 p.m. tonight. This is about 11 a.m. in the morning. So by 6 p.m. tonight you won't see anything but water here and you'll see that in later footage. Um, the rate of rise is about an inch and a half in about half an hour we put a rock on the driveway there and I'll show you I'll point it out to you later on the little driveway that we're standing at and uh, it was six inches away from the water about an inch and a half from the water level and it climbed up right up and reached the rock in the time that we were standing there taking drone footage. So this this valley has a natural lake in it that has water in it all year round but it's probably about 200 metres away from where we're filming there off towards the hills in the background there and that backs onto our property just a little bit over to the left uh, in behind that curve. So uh, what we're seeing here we've only lived here for 12 months but we do know that it floods dramatically in this area and uh, in the last big floods this particular spot that we're standing on was about four meters underwater so it gets a lot of water through this valley you can see the the rate that the water is flowing it's it's quite fast and it's it's actually frightening to fill up two or three hundred acres an inch and a half in half an hour takes a lot of water and uh, as you'll see later on this afternoon there's even more coming now because it's starting to flow over the road um, it's it's a massive area this is only one little section of road that's that's low lying along Wiseman's Ferry Road and all the way into Windsor and all the way out to Wiseman's Ferry as you go further past our place it's it's higher ground and you're not going to get uh, flooded from the river but there's certainly low areas that flood for short periods of time in, in heavy downfall so there's the uh, the little driveway we're standing at and you can see the rock at my feet when we first arrived there that rock was six inches away from the water and the water is nearly lapping on it now so uh, when we came back at 6 p.m. tonight the water was lapping at the gate so uh, we've now moved on to we went for a drive then further in to Wiseman's Ferry itself which is about another 22 kilometers away pretty much the furthest point you can reach uh, going out this way where all the ferries and stuff go ferries through to the north coast or the northern side of the river and, and the 
ferries over to Barara waters and so forth are all down at Wiseman's Ferry. So this is, I think, called River Road. And uh, this was as far as we could go along it because the road was half a metre underwater. And on the other side of that uh, flooded area, it was nearly up to a metre. So it's even lower lying area on the other side. This little valley <coughs> connects directly to the river, so it's normally got a creek running through it, and obviously it's inundated because the river's bursting its banks slowly. Um, Warragamba Dam has been spilling at the rate of about a metre high for the last uh, probably 15, 18 hours now, being at 100% capacity and over full. So it's going to be spilling for a couple of days yet. So the, the flooding here is, is going to get worse and then it's going to stay worse for a few days. So we won't even be going to work on Monday or Tuesday because we will be unable to drive on the road. So that's a little bit down at Wiseman's Ferry. The amount of debris that we saw floating down the river, <coughs> incredible. Whole trees, dead trees and, and sticks and branches and just rubbish, whatever floats, um, is amazing. It was just continuous. We actually followed a pile of debris for a short while when we were very close to the river bank driving along. And the debris was flowing at about 10 kilometres an hour, roughly speaking, 8 to 12 kilometres, somewhere in that vicinity, which is quite fast in a normally gently flowing river um, and I imagine the river was actually flowing is actually flowing much faster than that too so now here we are back to our little valley near where we are near where we live um, this is at 6 p.m. in the evening so this is on the other side of the road it's now flowing across the road it hasn't quite filled up the, the lake area or the valley completely, but you can see it's, it's filled up the right-hand side, what, I, what was all uh, still paddocks this morning, and we showed in the drone footage. Um, it's filled that up and is now flowing down beside the road and across the road into the lower-lying area. Now, we're gonna walk across there in a sec. We didn't bring the drone down with us tonight. We'd run all the batteries out during the day and it's on recharge. So um, we will be taking drone footage in the morning and updating our video. So the lake has now filled up, or the, the paddock has now filled up. It's gone about another six, 700 millimetres higher since 2 p.m. this afternoon when we last looked at it. Um, so it's it's getting quite full quite rapidly and, and I believe we just spoke to the SES guy because they've closed the road and he said that the rate of inundation is going to increase for the next six to eight hours because the Warragamba Dam overflow is, is going to start. It, it will be hitting Windsor now and it will be heading down our way over the next couple of hours so so the water will rise very quickly in this area it will completely engulf this road or this section of road and uh, we're going to be not going anywhere for a couple of days because this is our only road out unless we go in a big big loop through Hornsby so you can see it's closed off up that side well and truly pouring over the the rate of flow has, has increased uh, even from this morning. It's been flowing like that all day and, and is now flowing even faster. And of course, the more area that it has to flow across, the quicker it's going to fill up and, and uh, the water levels will rise. So it'll be interesting to see it in the morning, guys. Um, we're looking forward to that. Once again, we're absolutely in no danger. We've, we're still 30, 40 metres above this level is, is where our house is, possibly even 50 metres above. So the chances of us getting flooded are 
ultra, ultra slim. It would take an absolute disaster and half of Sydney would be underwater. So <clears throat> I think this is some footage coming up here now of, of the right hand side of the road that we showed in the drone was all bare paddocks this morning. And you can see now it's absolutely chock-a-block full of water and it won't be long before it'll be overflowing. So you can see the power of the water running through there. <coughs> yeah, just trying to discern exactly where we are. Yeah, we're still on the right-hand side of the road. So that almost looks like a double up, but it's not. It is separate footage. Or is it? No, just delete this bit, huh? Okay, so we can even see mice, field mice, swimming for their lives. And there was two, three, four of them swimming along trying to 